Welcome to a tutorial on how to identify objects in the drag and drop row mode in picklets.com. You can see that I've selected a picture um, from the carousel here and I chose these. Not quite sure what fish these are. They could be tuna or amberjacks. Uh, pretty interesting looking fish and lots of motion here. And so I like to begin in drag and drop mode and just focus you in on the noun column. And I'm going to try to cruise down the nouns and just drag and drop and try to identify parts of the photograph that would merit having this noun as a description of this part of the paragraph, part, part of the photograph. So darkness would be a good descriptor and if I click on here I could capitalize darkness if I wanted to but I don't want to and so fin is my next one and so I'm gonna find a good fin here and put it right next to it and then fish generally what type of fish they are or fishes I'm just gonna use fish but you could see you could have possessive there Fish's scale I could do. Um, frenzy I'm going to put right in the middle because that's a great noun to describe the sort of feeding frenzy or swimming frenzy of these fish. Um, ocean. Now I'm going to put this here. Clearly this is all ocean. But this is where I could bring in another noun right next to ocean and say that this is generally ocean life which I could use kind of building the foundation of our nouns for a description of place in this photograph so ocean life would be a good way to open up the paragraph um, scale would go on to the fish fishes scales I'm going to use the plural there so you can learn how to use plural for nouns it's a school, so I'm going to put that here, a school of fish, and I could get into, I could go over here um, and grab the universal words like of, which would be great. I can move my fish over here, school of fish, great way to get started users and students to get familiar with how to create nouns with prepositional phrases. Um, tail. Yeah, oops, so I'm going to use my fin over here. That's a good fin. It's called the adipose fin, but I can grab tail and put it right next to here, identifying parts of the fish. And I could put just generally water. Here as well. And so I left out some of the nouns, but you can see I have a really good identification of the objects um, from darkness, ocean life in general, to water. There's a frenzy here, scales on the fish, school of fish, and then tail and fin. So I've got a lot of really good nouns, strong word choice here for, as a foundation for a description of place or just as practice in identifying objects in a photograph. So go out and find a photograph on your carousel or go to 30 more photos and find yours and, and select key nouns to identify the key objects in this photograph. Good luck and have fun.